Hello and welcome to What's the Tea, a series where I, Professor Chamomile, will select the Pokemon and explain their bread and butter options or unique gimmicks and game plans. The goal is that you'll know what to generally expect when battling with or against the selected Pokemon. Today's Pokemon is Breloom. Breloom is a grass fighting type Pokemon that was introduced in Generation 3 as an evolution to Shroomish. One of Breloom's strongest tools is access to the rare move Spore. Spore is a 100% accurate sleeping move that is only naturally learned by the few Pokemon capable of scattering these soporific mushroom spores. You will want Spore on your Breloom the vast majority of the time across most generations of the game. Sleep is an extremely valuable status effect that heavily increases the odds of catching Pokemon, and since the Breloom line gets access to Fault Swipe from Breeding or TMs, you can have Breloom be your dedicated catcher. Putting opponents to sleep also grants you free turns in battle to deal damage with that massive base 130 attack stat. The key thing to remember though is that in almost every game, Breloom doesn't naturally learn Spore itself. Instead of letting Shroomish evolve at level 23, you have to train Shroomish until it learns Spore, then let it evolve. In recent games, it learned Spore around level 40, but as you gradually go further back in time, the investment increases to level 45, or in the case of the original Ruby and Sapphire, level 54. It should also be noted that if you ever remove Spore from your Breloom, it will never be able to relearn it. It is a highly valuable move, but it is also quite the investment. Consider your personal level of patience when attempting to get a Spore Breloom in a casual playthrough or some kind of challenge mode for a Pokemon game. If you really don't have the patience for Spore, or end up in a dire situation, you can make do with Stun Spore. It's decent in battle and good enough for catching Pokemon. In Generation 3, Breloom's main game plan was to put something to sleep with Spore, then spam strong physical attacks to deal damage. All Grass-type attacks were special back then, so they weren't as strong as Breloom's physical fighting attacks. Sky Uppercut was a strong, spammable, fighting-type stab move. Mach Punch was a great priority move to finish off opponents, especially given Breloom's relatively low speed. Breloom is a Pokémon that is able to make great use of the move Focus Punch. Focus Punch is a move with very high base power, 100% accuracy, and unlike other high base power moves, it has way more than just 5 power points. The trade-off for all these benefits is that the move has negative 3 priority, and the move will fail if you are hit by an opponent's attack move. Most Pokémon have to rely on using the move Substitute to avoid interruption or to make a hard read and predict that the opponent won't attack. Breloom will get more opportunities than the average Pokémon to spam Focus Punch, because Spore often forces the opponent to waste turns sleeping or switching. If you're using Breloom casually or in a challenge, it is viable to use your Focus Punch TM on it. In Generation 4, Breloom improves in every way. This generation and onwards, Breloom gets Poison Heal in its Ability 2 slot. If you want to use Breloom at all this generation, just forget that Effect Spore exists and use this instead. Poison Heal causes a Pokémon that is poisoned or badly poisoned to heal 1 8th of its max HP every turn instead of losing it. For comparison, this is like being healed by leftovers twice every turn. By the way, this is the generation that introduced the Toxic Orb, a held item that automatically badly poisons the holder at the end of the turn. You can reliably poison yourself, prevent attack drops or damage from burn, prevent speed drops or inaction from paralysis, and prevent sleep. Poison Heal is so good because it takes a Pokémon that was already disruptive and highly damaging and gives it immunity to status and deceptively high survivability. Breloom can use this high healing to use Substitute and regain the sacrificed health in only two turns. The combination of Spore and Substitute can make it very hard to land direct hits on a Breloom, and you know what that means. That's right, more Focus Punch spam. This is probably the most egregious Sub Punch combo spammer because it has access to Spore. Since Breloom should be perpetually poisoned, if you're using it right, the move Facade will always be a 140 base power move that you can spam. We also got the physical special split this generation, so many Pokémon like Breloom could suddenly use their better attacking stat to use old and new moves. Seed Bomb was a new physical grass move that finally allowed Breloom to use both of its stabs. Drain Punch can be used as a stab move if you need more healing. Super Power is a nice option if you want more power but don't want to use Focus Punch. Watch out for the attack and defense drop. 
Stone Edge and Rock Slide can be good for hitting Pokemon that resist your grass and fighting moves. Swords Dance can be used to buff attack power. Generation 5 introduced hidden abilities and Breloom was given Technician. Technician boosts the power of moves that have a base power of 60 or less by 50%. Usually damaging moves with strong effects are balanced by being 60 base power or less. If a Breloom opts to use this more offensive ability, it can ignore that usual trade-off and use a 60 base power priority mock punch or a 90 base power slowing low sweep. Even Bullet Seed gets boosted to nearly 40 base power per hit, so it can do respectable amounts of damage, even with the low rolls. This is all without even factoring the 50% stab boost that is calculated afterwards. Since a Technician Breloom doesn't have to hold a Toxic Orb for its ability to consistently function, you can opt for the usual held items that attackers love, like Choice Band, Choice Scarf, or Life Orb. The last thing of note is that Eviolite was introduced, so from the Generation 5 games and onwards, you can put it on your Shroomish while you wait all game for Spore. Generation 6, 7, and 8 didn't have many massive developments for Breloom, mainly just small things like extra moves abusable by Technician, like Power Up Punch. I do want to note that Spore actually has more counterplay in Generation 6 and onwards for two reasons. First, Grass types are immune to Powder and Spore status moves from Generation 6 onwards. Second, the new Safety Goggles item can be held to negate Spore. Don't be fooled though, Spore is still extremely strong. Generation 9 was originally pretty quiet for Breloom. The first buff was the new Loaded Dice item which allowed Technician Breloom to always hit the high rolls on Bullet Seed. It's hilariously easy to cheese the game with that. The biggest buff to me personally is the version 3.0.0 of Scarlet and Violet that finally allows Breloom to learn Spore through the move reminder. Yes, you heard that right. Finally, after years, you can finally have Breloom relearn Spore. That just about covers the basics of Breloom. Breloom has always been a solid battler, fault swiper, and catcher. It fundamentally just wants to punch you really hard with its high attack stat and can use Spore as a deterrent to play around its other mid stats. It isn't carried by Spore either. It is absolutely a valid threat even without Spore. Breloom has the freedom to use Technician to be damage focused or Poison Heal survivability for an interesting mixture of offense and defense. It's basically had everything it's needed since Generation 4, and everything after was a cost of living pension adjustment. I really appreciate when a Pokemon is designed like this. It has a unique set of things it does well and can work towards its win condition without relying on excessive stat padding or being overly reliant on just one broken aspect of its kit. I hope this gives you a good idea of what to expect when you catch a Shroomish or encounter a Breloom on your journey. Maybe this will inspire you to use Breloom yourself. I hope you enjoyed the lecture and please leave your questions in the comments below. Class dismissed.